Oh, we mow it. Oh, we mow it. Oh, we mow it. Oh. In the jungle. For this video, you are going to need a pad and a pen. Okay, that's going to come later in the video. So first listen to this little intro thing that I talk about. Get the pen and pad ready. Worry. Worry is disgusting. Those who have extreme anxiety and know how that feels to be in constant worry and be aware that you're worrying and being even aware that these worries aren't logic at all, log logical at all, but you're still worrying and you don't know why. It's like you can't stop your brain from going over the same thing over and over and over again. And like many people say, including me, am I going crazy or what? This is crazy. This is insane. Am I insane? Here's a little perspective for everybody. You worry because you're smart. Has anybody told you that? Because no one's told me that and it makes a lot of sense. You worry because you're smart. Not stupid, smart. Now I'm not trying to be condescending and say your problems don't matter. I'm trying to give you the truth. The truth is that you're smart and that is why you worry. Have you ever met some people or seen people that just seem to drift through life without a care in the world? They're happy. They don't worry at all. Things come up in their lives and they just go with it. Have you met these people? These are dumb people in some of the cases, in some of the cases. Can you agree with me right now that dumb people aren't as creative as smart people? Can we all agree on that? So since smart people are more creative than dumb people, that's why we get worried. All it is is smart people are misusing these creative juices in our brain and we're putting it in the wrong compartment. We're putting it in the worry compartment rather than the creative compartment. We have all of this energy, we're just using it in the wrong place. Think about it, because we are smart, we have pretty good intuition and we can also look into the future and into our past. What this allows us to do though, negatively, is think about what will happen? What if this happens? What if that happens? Oh, this could correlate to that experience in my past, which is kind of happening now, but may happen then. Do you see what I mean? What happens is all the might haves and the could haves and the should haves and blah, blah, blah. I know this video is choppy. There's a lot of cutoffs. You know those YouTube videos that cut off, cut off, cut off? Like now and now and now. Okay, so you stuck with me so far? Everyone with me? Because the good part's coming up. Don't shut off the damn video. Keep watching. Love you. So as I said before, we're so aware that we're worrying because we're smart people. We're logical people. How do you turn the worrying off? With logic. Remember that pad and pen I talked about? Take it out right now. I'll wait. Okay, so you have your pad and pen with you. Write down the number 40%. Write down the number 40 and then the percent sign. Write down beside 40%. 40% are the things you worry about that will never actually happen. Write that down. 40%. Things that will never actually happen. And I know you can relate to that. Below 40% now, write 30%. 30% are the things that you worry about that have already happened. And you know we can't change the past, so there's no point about worrying about that. Write that next to 30%. Now write down 12%. 12% is those needless worries that come up during the day, like my leg hurts, I wonder what it is. Um, I have a cough, these are, these are health concerns. My arm's itchy, maybe I have leprosy. These kinds of things, 12%. Of course, you can customize these numbers yourself. If, if you don't worry 12% of the time about health, put something else down. Next, write down 10%. 
10%, this may even, the 10% and the 12%, or even the 10% and the 40% may even switch. But for the 10%, this is for me, 10% is when you're worrying about what other people think of you. So write down 10% what other people think of you. And the thing about worrying about what other people think, we can't do anything about that. That's what a worry is. Worry is thinking about something that you can't do shit about. Okay, now look at your pad. And if the math is, I'm out of focus, if the math is right, if the math is right, you should have 8% left. We started with 100%. These are our worries. All of our worries, 100%. We narrowed it down to 8% of these worries are actually worth worrying about. The other ones you can't do shit about, remember? Health, what other people think, all that other shit. 8% are legit concerns. The point of doing all this math and talking about this is that's what you have to focus your energy on. That is what you have to focus on, everybody. Focus so hard on that 8% that the rest of the 92 vanishes. It's not important, it's not a worry. The 8% is. What does the 8% look like for you? The real immediate concerns. So what are your immediate concerns? This 8% could be you've been worrying and worrying and thinking and thinking about getting professional help, maybe about trying those omega-3s, maybe even about trying medication. You've been worrying about that so much let that be your focus. That's a legitimate worry. You want to get better. You're thinking of options. Focus on that. Because you know what happens? is You think because you're worrying so much you can't focus. Focus is worry. Worry is focus. Think about how much energy you consume by just thinking about a few things in your mind and going over them. That's true focus. That means you're smart. Remember that? Concentrate on that 8% guys. 92% of your life is gravy, baby. 8%. That's where a difference can be made. Just in 8%, that's when you can have the life you want. That's when you can have the recovery you want. So what you need to do, or what I recommend you do, because it works for me, is next time you're worrying about something, do the odds calculation. Look at your pad and pen right now and think about if you're worrying about something in those other 92% categories, don't worry about it. Move on to the 8%. If something happened at school, if something happened in the grocery store, if something happened with your family, think about a past event. If someone made fun of you at school, if somebody doesn't like you, that's under the category about what people think. Can't change that. Get it out of the fucking way and focus on that 8%. How many times do I have to say it? I know I've said it a lot. Focus on that 8%! Kick worry and anxiety in the ass! Let's do it. Get pumped about it. Increase your math skills at the same time and remember that you're smart. That's why you worry. You're creative. You're a fucking genius. Keep it up, guys.